If you're like me and you follow a lot of iPad related content, you've probably seen these Apple Pencil tips. They look a lot like actual pen tips. I was really curious about how these work and feel and also just if they were as good as everyone was promoting it to be. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on these Apple Pencil tips and if I think it's actually worth it to try out. So these are the ones that I got. You get a case with four of these Apple Pencil nibs in them. These are the transparent ones with a gold tip. You do get some that are actually white, but those were out of stock for where I was buying from. But yeah, it's really easy. You just take off the old Apple Pencil tip and put on the new ones. You can also store the old Apple Pencil tips in this case as well. So I first want to talk about the writing experience and my initial impression when I first used them. So as soon as I used it on my iPad, I immediately could feel a difference between this and the original Apple Pencil. My handwriting didn't actually look any different when I used this compared to the original Apple Pencil tips, but what I did realize was there was less jitter on my writing than with the Apple Pencil tips. As you can see in this comparison, I just feel like I have a bit more control over the neatness that is my handwriting when it comes to these tips. My first impression was that I definitely love the feel of it on the paper-like screen protector. I could just feel the texture a lot better with these tips than I could with the Apple Pencil tips. That's also something you need to note. I don't recommend using these without having a screen protector already installed on your device. You can use any type of screen protector, but I do recommend using a paper feel screen protector. It just makes it a lot more comfortable to write on. Since these Apple Tencel tips are a bit more fine, I think it's more likely that they will actually scratch your screen. That's why I recommend the screen protector. Obviously the Apple original Apple Pencil tips have like a softer material, almost like silicone, which is obviously less harsh on your screen, whereas these tips are more sharp and more likely to make a scratch. I'm not sure about the impact on these on your paper-like screen protectors over a long time, if they will quickly run them through. From what I can see on my screen protector, it doesn't look like it's wearing out any more than it did with the Apple Pencil tips, but only time will actually tell the actual impact that these have over a long time on a screen protector, I think. Also, I know a lot of people like the sound of pen on paper, that kind of sound when it comes to writing on iPads, so I'll share with you guys what it sounds like when you're writing with these on a paper-like screen protector. Now I did actually post a short of these unboxing these and I got some questions which I thought it would be good to answer in this video. So the first question was, are these better than the original? In my opinion, I just like the feeling of them more and I like my handwriting more with them. Like I said, it's not drastic. It's not like it's gonna completely change the way you write, maybe for some people, but for me, it's not that big of a difference, but I do prefer it. So for me, it is somewhat better. Then I got a question about, will these damage your screen? So like I said, I just think if you have a screen protector over your screen, it will be fine, but I don't recommend using these bare on the iPad screen. And then someone else asked which ones to get because I mean, there are so many out there, you don't really know which ones to get. And to be honest, I don't actually have a great answer for this. The ones that I got were just the only ones that were available here in South Africa on a local store called Take A Lot. So we'll have those linked down below. If you're in South Africa, this will help. But if you're not, obviously this isn't super helpful. So what I will do is I will do some research on a lot of people who have been recommending these a lot of iPad influencers. I will do some research and find out which ones are mostly recommended. I do think I have quite an idea of which ones to link, but I will link the ones that I found most people use in the description. And also there is a brand called Ilago, which I know makes great accessories for phones and iPads, and they're a, brand, a good brand. So I will have theirs linked as well, but theirs is a bit more expensive, but I guess they're the safer route because it's a well-known brand. So I will have those linked as well. So in conclusion, do I think these are actually worth it to get? 
And to be honest, I do think they are worth it to try out. If you have a few bucks to spend on Apple Pencil Tips and you're curious, I don't think it's gonna hurt to try these out. Like I said, I ended up liking them more than the Apple Pencil Tips. So yeah, I do think they deserve some of the hype that they are getting on social media. So definitely try them out and see if they work for you. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you out on deciding whether to get these or not. And I hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.